Circadian rhythms are the cycles of lightness and darkness that humans, plants, and animals experience in the course of a 24-hour day. They control many of our biological processes. Yang Zhu of the Yale School of Public Health investigates how the disruption of sleep cycles in modern life causes molecular changes that lead to cancer. Circadian disruption could be caused by many factors. For example, uh, hospital nurses, they have to do the shift work. They cannot sleep at night but also a frequent flight attendant, um, also flight uh, pilot, firefighters, policemen, they have to work shift. That's the cause of circadian disruption. The hormone regulation related to breast cancer among female and the prostate cancer among male. That's the consistent with observational study, but from traditional epi study, they find um, breast cancer increased breast cancer among female shift workers, but also increased the prostate, prostate cancer risk among males. And in addition to these two hormone-related cancer type, colon cancer, there's some study about increased colon cancer risk among shift workers. Um, so many things going on, uh, at least from our study, uh, DNA repair will be triggered from during the daytime. We have to concentrate on our work, have to concentrate on this videotaping. So we shut down many of our important biological processes, for example, DNA repair pathway. But during the sleep, this pathway got triggered, it can fix many uh, damages, I mean, DNA damage or other damages during, during, our, uh, uh, during the day. If we go back to history, evolution, evolutionary history, our human society did not have light until about 150 years ago. Then we got a chance we can work late, we expose to light, um, that caused disrupt our circadian rhythm. But our genome, our whole body, we have millions of years adaptation to nature 12 hour daytime, 12 hour nighttime cycle. So our body gets used to the traditional light cycle, then we suddenly we got this light into our society, disrupt our rhythm, that caused the mis that's the mismatch between our body design and our modern lifestyle. I think that that's not only the cause for, for cancer, but probably for many diseases. Because we eat more, we, we, we